We're hey everyone! What? Hey! What? Hi! What? Hey everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Obscure Presents the Abomination Vaults. How are we all? Good! Hey. Pretty great! How are Unabducted. you? Unabducted. Unabducted? Unabducted at this point in time. Unabducted for what? now. By neither alien angel or fey. Sadly, uh, I'm abducted. Naked Jawas, I think. Naked I'm Jawas, those, okay. Yeah, I'm keeping the devils and demons up for, like, in just in case. Yeah, good call. But would a devil abduct you? <laughs> um, thanks, Matt. Uh, it, it, let me think about that. Very I'll, nicely. Yeah, yeah. I live a life of indulgence and excess. So yeah, yeah. They'd like make you sign a contract and then give you ten years. Is that I'm usually how sure it works? Hedonism is that contract, and I've signed it long ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> See that? I actually, understand. I actually have a great story on that. I when I was younger, very depressed um i thought it would be a good idea to try and sorry i'm choking to death on noodles what a great <laughs> story wow i can't wait I to thought... hear those <laughs> i i thought it would be a great idea to try and like do the whole devil deal crossroads demon thing yeah and then i cool. gave up on the third night because i was tired and i forgot <laughs> <laughs> and then years later i found out my twin brother was walking around at night i'm still dying um and saw a big black dog which is like literally the thing you're supposed to yeah. see yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and i was just like i wonder if that correlates timeline wise like and they're just like <laughs> twins close enough well, yeah. I, was, I was about to say maybe they got the wrong one hey did the dog say anything about it will seek its revenge in noodles mm. um, yeah look <laughs> yeah are you experiencing noodle related death um, no, I went to eat the rest of my noodles and I inhaled some of them and they're very spicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> spicy I think it's like hell. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the flames of Beelzebub. I don't know why I tried telling a story while I was choking to death, but that's, that's on ADHD. I really <laughs> admire your commitment. Thank you. Yeah, um, that hey, I for your character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die, but I have to get this last one out. You see? Yeah, but just let me keep talking for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums me up. Did you what? hear the one about the guy who. Should I do like an exclamation mark drinking game now? Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. That's just a bard using last stand actions, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, how's everyone else's week been? Pretty good. That's it. I, that's have my been, whole um, I have acquired lots of money because people have paid me because I've sent invoices to them finally. Nice. Yes. So, you adulted. When you are poor purely through your own through your own laziness, and not mm -hmm. in the sense of like I'm not going to get a job, but like you have a job, you do the work, but you just don't get to the money bit because you just um, fail at that. And yeah. It's nice to get that money rolling in now. And You're like, not uh, be well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Totally. Totally. Oh no, I'm getting an echo. It's bad enough hearing my voice on the on the way out. I don't want to hear it on the way back in. I think that might be from Tyler. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tyler. It doesn't make sense. I'm on a headset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Magic know why. Wizard I'm... did it. When I'm uh, next I, up in Brisbane, I'm going to fix your audio setup there. Oh, please. <laughs> I think NVIDIA just decides that some like part of my incoming audio is outcoming, outgoing audio, and then just loops it back in for fun. Because I had the same issue with the stream open, where the stream would echo back through my microphone. Oh, that's Whee! fun. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. How's your week been, Bill? Oh yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I saw, um, who did I see this week? I saw Electric Six last night. So my hearing's a little off, because uh, it was very loud. You would expect That's that fun. from Electric Six, though. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Did some <laughs> sweet dancing to Dance Commander and yeah, Gay Bar cool. and the following yep. such so, songs. So, so. How many bands do you think have the word electric in their name? Electric 
Oh boy. Electric six. Who? Electric, electric mayhem. mayhem. Electric Damn fields. <laughs> electric uh electric light symphony symphony. Light yeah, whatever orchestra. they call it. Light, 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 light orchestra. Okay. Symphony. <laughs> Be close. <laughs> Though I do Orchestras actually and want... symphonies are the same thing, Jules. If you want to reach through the screen and kill him, Jules, I, I will understand. I am a professional, so... <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I do want to see the ELO at some point, because I just... I hope their lighting for their concerts would be good. Yeah. Do you know that the cellist died because um, his car got crushed by a hay, hay bale rolling down a hill? What? That's... Yeah. What? That's of, all the, of all the cellists that have died, that is... Indeed, of, a, of, a all, way to of die. all of the cellists that have died in mysterious yes. circumstances, the that cellist list that we're all very familiar with. The cellists go to shell. Shell. Well done. I actually have not heard that one before, which is amazing. But I um I actually just googled bands with electric in their name, and I got sixty-two million four hundred thousand results. So take there that you go. the way you will. That, that seems like a lot. So it's every word ever written with electric before it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is just based on how many results come up with Google. Um, that is an entirely um, academic uh, statistic right there. That's so. how that works, yeah. Exactly. Google has gone too far. But um, otherwise, a little bit of not really housekeeping, but if you're noticing my... um little vtuber thing in the bottom right hand corner it has the jitters more than usual it's because i'm using a new program for it and it is very really jittery excited. it is very jittery like me it, when i drunk too just, much coffee i was gonna say it's just you with a realistic <laughs> representation of your caffeine intake <laughs> not as bad as nick's but my plan Oof. is to get it properly animated when have you ever seen me have a reaction to caffeine no, it's more that I've seen you have a reaction to not caffeine. Yeah, no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Genuinely concerned my heart will stop. Yeah, it was it was a scary couple of days. We should have gotten me caffeine. What the hell? You yeah, were doing sounds the like detox. Some, some bad friend moves right there. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, no. Yeah, because your doctor <laughs> said you needed to slow down. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Don't you love it when a doctor's wrong? <laughs> I believe it's called hubris. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So yeah, I'm hoping in like the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, depending on how quickly I can get the art together, a uh, little Deaton in the corner there will be blinking and talking and lighting up stuff. Sweet. Hey, can I ask a real favor right now? Sure. Miss on the blinking. Sorry, what? Just it it's weird enough when it happens on your server. <laughs> I don't wanna see that on a Twitch stream. You don't wanna see it blinking? Oh. Why not? It's weird. <laughs> it's pretty great. I thought, I thought you were saying this from like uh like epilepsy point of view, because yeah, I thought for blinking, like flashing. Um yeah. no no, it's just a body horror thing. That's actually pretty fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, the plan is to have him blink and you know how, light how up does, with villain points and how does he talk well does that's what's gonna mouth? make it cheaper <laughs> <laughs> and if he doesn't have a mouth can you have a mouth because that would be even worse and i love it that little the little curve in the d10 should be just open <laughs> A, a vertical mouth rather than a horizontal mouth. Perhaps. Every now and then, that would then be perfect. That is not what I meant, but that's even better. And open his eye, and it'll be a mouth that's talking with human teeth. Uh, and then yeah. the mouth closes real yeah. tight, and it's back to an eye. Yeah, absolutely. The the pupil can talk with its teeth, and then the eye can blink over the top of that. Rad. I hate that the worst. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> send it. That's going to be terrifying. I love that. I will mm -hmm. talk to the artists. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or artist, yeah. whoever I go with. Yeah, you know when your eyelid closes over your lips. Yeah, hey, yeah. Bill, you're creative. Um, <laughs> well, thank you. I I need. I 
I need to know when Matt's doing this so that you can create one for me. That's essentially uh -huh. the Shadow the Hedgehog of D10. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 of course. Yep. Thanks, yeah, wait. Deaton needs, like, an evil doppelganger, right? With a gun. <laughs> yeah. For no apparent reason. Yep. Otherwise, who remembers what happened last week? I got We better. got <laughs> our friend back and got we rid of that annoying him. sack of fucking bones. I like Sir <laughs> Idol. Yeah, so I like Sir I. Idol. He was really cool. Yeah, I said it last week, but still that um, exchange with the skellies in the dining hall is still my favorite moment in the entire campaign. Mm, that was pretty funny. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I wasn't even Betrayal. there. It was so great to watch. We shall ha strive to make even better content. <laughs> oh, if I can't top yeah. that, then you know we should just cancel the entire stream. Oh no. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, we had a pretty, pretty hairy, scary uh, fight with some some demons. Um, mm. That got down to the wire at certain points. Yeah, fighting um, in the boneyard was a, a bold, bold strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a few incredibly well placed. Was it holy spears or what? What were they? Mm. The, 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 um, the incredible damage dealt by Ida, and then like two crits the at the end to the flaming light spell whatever, whatever. Searing whatever. Light. yeah searing yeah. light there we go searing yeah. light. natural 20 in the searing light then natural 20 in the compy bonk yeah and that was just, that, that yeah. was that was some nice one in 400 move yeah that's a good turn <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah see yeah. sometimes when you cast spells you shouldn't leave it up to the gm to roll like saves and stuff because mm -hmm. then they roll critical saves yeah exactly yeah. right yeah which I believe um, Treant Monk has had a few th words to say about that battle on YouTube, but um, if, if you pay attention to the Pathfinder 2e Reddit, um, all that drama unfolding. Drama? Is that s oh, just, you know, Treant Monk, content creator for 5e, um, came out swinging against Pathfinder because the bosses crit save too frequently. I'm like, well, take it up yeah. with Matt. <laughs> it's on a natural right. 20. The bosses <laughs> crit save too easy. Yeah, because they're stronger than you. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Five, okay, five E content creators. Would you like? Would we? You like to have this conversation <laughs> about legendary actions? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Oh, they maybe pass or fail. No, no, they just succeed against your saving throw because they're legendary. That's yeah, makes sense. yeah. Mm -hmm. you have and to it means you just end up twice like, on a save. Yeah, you... Like what the fuck? And, like, oh. there's so much metagame nonsense that goes into it because you have to burn all these low-level spell slots to try to get through their resistances um, before you land the big spells, and it's just, ugh, like... Anyway. The whole thing. So, yes. The whole thing. Yeah. Their the choice to use bounded accuracy uh, was interesting and kind of doesn't really feel good when you fight something that you fought at level 1, later at level 10. You're like, ah, oh, it's still sort of just as hard. Yeah. Um... But yeah, the alternative is like a scale and crit system. Fantastic. It makes sense. That's, if he's yeah. talking about incapacitation spells, then look, I kind of get it. But at the same point, it's if that's what the big bad it has, serves then... a purpose. Yeah, it does. Yeah? It really like, does. Big bads are meant to be kind of tough. And that's the thing yeah. about Pathfinder 2 e Like you know, love it or hate it, everything serves a purpose, and it's a very yes. clearly defined purpose. And then you can work around that purpose if it doesn't match your purposes, so it's flexible like that. I Whereas with 5e, it's like, what am I doing? Why is it like this, 5e? Why, why that, but not that, but then that? It's just, it's a mess. Why do you do anyway. this? Why are you doing this to me? Uh... That's it for today's episode. It's a bit of a rant about um, <laughs> 5e, 5e rant. Do, yeah. we, do we have a little outro jingle? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> really yeah, yeah, let's do this every fun. week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, with the American game, it used to be a lot like this. Mm. Because, you know, uh, Osiris was was one of my players, so we'd have a design discussion at the start of everything. That said, where last we left our heroes, you had just returned from the Boneyard. Victorious Ooh. with Princess Punchface. Yeah, you'd had a round of drinks. 
and a few more drinks well into the night before what I can only assume is passing out. Yeah. Yeah. In some way, um, shape, or form, celebrating your friend's return. The mites get involved. Oh, for sure. All your friends. And as a result, everyone's sick and one all day. No, no, no. <laughs> Fatigued? Maybe fatigued. No, I'm not. Fatigued. No, no, no. <laughs> Nithana had a club soda with vodka and got a very good night's rest, and that was the extent of her party. Uh, the mice are making vodka now? That's lit. I mean, it's made Did from Joel potatoes. come back? Very, very clean spirits without too much um, uh, carbohydrates in them. You know, want to keep but the hangover at bay. It's made of potatoes. Yeah, but they, the sugars get distilled out of it. That makes sense. Yes. You should know these things, Tyler. I definitely already knew these things. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just being difficult? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joel has not returned. Of course he is hasn't. That, <laughs> is that of yet a concern, or...? Yeah, yeah that's a hunting, good question. Right? Yeah. Should he's, we go I mean, check on Joel, guys? He, he seems like a very capable individual. I think he's okay. Wouldn't like, if certainly more Joel was in us. trouble, you want to help him? No, 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 I don't want to crowd him, you know? I think, you know, he's... Okay, yeah. no, that's fair. If he's suffering and dying in the swamp, that's, I guess, I... just how it was meant to go. I guess he's really just putting the wear in werewolf. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ghost wolf. <laughs> 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 And look, if we find him, like, passed away somewhere, at least we'll have a nice trophy to mount in the bar. Hmm, true. I do not want to take part in this conversation anymore. <laughs> Nathana is just going to go say hi to the Pathfinder Society over here. <laughs> Yoink. Well, um, I'm going to have to get a token for Sheezer at some point, but I have updated the Pathfinder supplier as well. Yoohoo! Spectacles of understanding? Uh, Pathfinder only. Nathana <laughs> took the feet. She got the archetype. <laughs> she gets the toys. I don't want any of this anyway. <laughs> you sure? You sure? I'm just... I just, I just never seen spectacles of understanding before. How does a combat grapnel work? It's is... a weapon. It's quite... Is it basically it's... where you can, um... Oh, I'm just... I'm just trying to work out how it plays out in my head. So you can attach something 10 feet away. Does it, like, hook into enemies and then, like, you're it's, holding on to it's like It's like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Right. Like, Get over here. Then can you, can you pull yourself towards them or pull them towards you? Tevered means that you can, you can retrieve the weapon as an action. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's 20-foot thrown. Oh, I see. So it's range, and then you just can bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And Makes then sense. it has the grapple trait, which means you can grapple, with it, even if you don't have a free hand. Mm hmm. And then could arguably pull them towards you, I guess. If you DM, yeah, but... if you do that. Well, yeah, once they've grappled, you can. Does this not have, like, rules for dragging, like, grappled enemies? It has yeah. reposition. Right. So I guess you just use that. I see. Right. I'm just going to uh, browse for a bit, guys, as you were. <laughs> just do your own just, thing. It's really good yeah. to have you back, Princess. I mean, did you sleep well? You drank a lot last night. Which is to be expected, I guess. I drank a perfectly normal amount. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> um, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Was it weird being dead? Not really. Like, it all felt pretty normal. I could punch ghosts, though. That was fun. Nice. Actually, if you could learn how to do that here, that'd probably be really handy. I mean, I'm a little bit different now. Maybe I can. Worth a shot. Maybe we'll pay that librarian a visit. Oh, yeah, I'll go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what does the librarian ever do to you? Plenty. Um, take over my body. Oh, almost TPK. <laughs> Possess Princess Mudbase? <laughs> What's a little light possession between friends? We're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna keep Compi here. sitting at the table as well. It's very cute. Pound of flesh. 
Otherwise, you do have a new merchant. Hello? Oh, yeah. I have, yeah, updated, I have updated some of the merchants with some of the stuff from Treasure Vaults. Tatura and Crush are just gonna hang out. That's lit. Oh, actually, I want to see them uh, have an exchange with Punchface if we haven't. Yeah, what are, you, what are you guys talking about when you get back? Yeah. You punch <laughs> Is that awkward? Yeah. Gonna wrestle with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah, giving this, given the size difference, I'd love to see an arm wrestle. Yeah, Trevor's yeah. kind of like, I'm never sure how I would do this. I'm really not. Well, you just put your arm down and I grab it and then you lose. <laughs> he lays down and he puts his arm up for you. He <laughs> lays down. Oh, I'll be back. Hang on. <laughs> and you've yeah, done your athletics check it. already, and I'm guessing yes, that's for the arm wrestling. Sure. It takes a couple of moments, but eventually you manage to pin his arm. Undefeated! Honestly, I'm not embarrassed. You should be. Why? I I am a small size children's toy. Yeah, but no, I also know what you were designed for. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. <sighs> Listen, thank you guys for coming over and, you know, helping these guys come get me. Oh, that's okay. I mean, partially the boss sent us. Understandable. Well, we were really shooken up when we heard that you'd, uh... Departed? You're broken? I, I don't know what the terminology is. Crush even said, shed a tear. Aw, oh, Crusher. Um, yeah, no, I died. It, it, uh, yeah, di dead is the common term. I'm better now. <laughs> uh, uh, are you, though? Yeah! Like, hey. how, how was hell? I didn't... I didn't end up going to hell. Oh, okay. There was a lot of lawyers, though, so it was basically hell. Oh, <laughs> maybe that was hell for you. Maybe. Maybe? I got to punch a dragon, though, so not all bad. How did you punch, like, two dragons since you got here? Yeah, but this one was, like, you know, like a hell dragon or something. Well, uh, hopefully you'll get to punch more dragons. Probably? I mean, now that you're alive? Yeah, I'm gonna do this whole, like, finish this whole tower quest thing, so I don't know how many dragons are, you know, down there. But, uh, if there are any, they're getting bunches. Well, look, things in Absalom have not settled down yet, so it's probably best if you hide out here for a bit longer anyway. Oh, good. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. the mysterious things in Absalom that are happening. Listen, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of... I kind of gotta finish what's going on here. It's, like, my quest now. In big words. <laughs> um, <laughs> big words quest. But afterwards, I'm gonna turn up back up at the boss's place with a big sack of money. So, everything should be fine. Well, we will help you carry that big sack of money. The fuck you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful here. You're trying to get in on my big sack of money. Well, no, I'm trying to get like the plus one in your glory. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, yeah. See how that works out for you, jump. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you a little bit of a nudge with his fist. Just you know the playful, black kind of one. Yeah, I nudge him right back, just mm -hmm. as playfully. <laughs> so it's the a D twelve nudge. Yeah. I believe it's called a shove. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, how's everyone else doing? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I've just, I just been browsing the shops and just being like, eh. I don't hey, know. friends. Can I, can I put in a petition to spend 15 of the party gold to get another climbing arrow? Because I thought that was pretty useful. 
and it did save our lives so I, yeah uh, <laughs> 15 gold for one arrow that's yeah it's steep. pretty easy yeah how much money do you have in your collective <laughs> not a lot like 60 anymore. like 60 gold <laughs> it's really not a lot Oh wow, you've got a fair bit of wealth, just not a lot of um, liquid cash. Yeah, do we want to sell some stuff actually? Definitely could. Can anyone cast summon animal? Uh... So that's worth 160 gold. Oh, oh. Do you have a primal spell list or? No, I you don't, don't have do access you? to a spell list, I just no. get focus spells. I think we've been through this. Spells. Yeah, we definitely deja yeah. Vu. <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred percent would have been through this. Okay, cool. We can sell this wine, which I'm pretty sure is vinegar by this point. Oh, it's entirely possible. Uh, your yeah. new Gripply merchant, Cuddy, also has some ammunition. Mm-hmm. Fresh from the treasure vaults, so to speak. Oh my God, there's a ghost tie. <laughs> Where did the ghost tie and Davin come from? That's incredible. Well, you ghost tie to a tie? Okay, oh, life shot. I... I I simply must get life shot. That is going to be amazing. Tie like that... like a bit you can tie onto something, not like a fashionable tie. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, and is less cool objectively, but. Um, and also, friends, just, um, uh, if I could ask for another 15 gold to get three life shots, which helps me heal at range if I shoot and hit my target. It's basically like a oh, little yeah, dose good. of adrenaline at range, which is going to be fun. Uh, yeah. you, no one's able to use this wand of summon animal, are we? No. No. That was the same. No, let's sell it. Yeah. All right, let's sell it. We only get like half of the gold, don't we? Because it's. Can we straight swap it for a wand? <laughs> <laughs> if it's of the same level. I'm usually happy with that. Wand of mental purification, perhaps? Thora soothe in a wand and cast it later or something? Oh, I could cast that. Well, the Wand of Mental Purification is level 4. Oh. But yeah, yes. Um, that is one of the few actual new ones that you could use, Harry. Yeah, that's actually not a bad call, because I always feel bad wasting my spell slots on healing people. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you still I have, have to cast it, right? Like, But it... Does it... I'll know it. But you can I'll... save it from the day before or whatever. Well, no. The wand has no. a soothe spell inside of it, and you can cast yep. it once per day. Yeah. Oh, the cra I'm looking at craft requirements, and for some reason, yeah. red recharge <laughs> requirements. No. That's fine. never mind. Yep. All right. Yeah. But yeah, that's not a bad idea because soothe is not bad, is it? No. I mean, it's not amazing, but it is a healing spell. Which is hmm. useful. Um, it's 10d4. Uh, 10, 1d10 plus 4. 10d4. 10d4 That's would be better. Fantastic. Be, that would be nice. Be that would be great. Uh, 1d10 plus 4. So 5 to 14 health. Hmm. Yeah, but it really normalized because 10 died. <laughs> I don't know that it's even worth it. For 110 gold? Let's just sell the wand and keep the gold. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Maybe, and, and if anyone dies from not getting healed, I put that on the literal healer and well, the necromancer in our party. <laughs> does it mean that you could get that and then retrain your soothe spell as something else that you could use? I mean, that is true. That is true. This is what ones are nice for. Thing. Yeah, it's the nice thing about ones, right? You're like. Though, when you cast level 1 spells, do they automatically heighten? No. No, they no. do not. 
I can take a signature spell, which basically means I can cast it without At preparing. Yeah, without preparing yeah. a heightened version of that spell. Yeah. Eh. Sad. Once uh, all yes. your shopping is done, what's the plan? That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. Um, well, there's still there's still a lot of stuff down on the gladiator level that we need to clear out, right? Yeah, let's keep exploring. I was oh. gonna say we could fight a bull ass. Princess but... Punchface. Hello. We found a gladiator pit. I don't know if that's entertaining to you or not. Why are we still standing here? <laughs> oh, actually. <laughs> Why are we still standing here? <laughs> before we go anywhere, uh, Cuddy Bogger, uh, which I initially read as Cuddly Booger. <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> Did you see that he was holding a scythe and you were like, eh, cut, cut, Cuddy. He's a boggard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the boggard um, part was correct. The cutty <laughs> part, I've been reading a lot of Discworld and I didn't want to call him Nobby. Nah. Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Cut me on Throat Dibbler. Cut me on Throat Dibbler. CTMOD. Are you, Cutty, from the village that we went to for the last the week east the mm. west to the west oh oh i'm from like all over the place oh you uh, traveler yeah <laughs> i've traveled the width and breadth of the swamp not that we're not excited to have you here oh that's How many fine other i'm just i'm just happy to be here so there around here um Within the swamp? Hmm. Um, there's three villages in the city. In the city? Yeah. Damn. We gotta check out these swamps more. No, they're not full of hags. I mean, the city might be a little bit unwelcoming to you. That's Wait, fair enough. Why? It's a dragon's lair. Where is the city? <laughs> <laughs> Are there dragon, dragon minions that live at the city? Or is it just one dragon in a city of its own? Uh, no, like... Uh, looking after a, like, ancient dragon apparently takes, like, dozens and dozens of people. And, you know, in mm -hmm. order to feed those people, you, you need, like, the people that can feed those people. It's the whole infrastructure thing. <laughs> Yeah, look, maybe we don't try and check out an ancient dragon. That sounds dangerous, guys. I think we got enough danger. If it helps, I've never been allowed in there. That does help, actually. That <laughs> weirdly reassures me. I mean, if they're not going to let another bogard into the city, then they're probably not going to let uh, us four. Yeah. That's very true. But I also Need just it. wanted to double check in terms of working out our priorities. Did we get a sense when we were in the boneyard that there was some kind of time pressure on Belcora's ambitions? Because what what, oh, what did that question. um what did that uh, uh, judge say? Um, that Belcora was known to them that she's intending to sacrifice the entire Isle of Kortos to the ghost dude. Yeah, um, that is her. Oh plan. yeah. Yeah, she I, I feel like. Did learn things. You did learn some things, yeah. I feel like, you know, there's probably, given that we sort of um, uh, were sent to the Gaunt Line in response to some activity happening here that had been um, surprising to the people of Atari, um, perhaps <laughs> her plan is moving along at a, at a fair clip at this point. You know, she's had centuries to think about this, and if it's all coming to a head now, then oh, does that give us a sense of urgency? or? I guess so. Okay, but real talk, if she's had centuries to think this through and this is the best plan she has, I'm not that worried. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> That's a really good point. Yeah. Like, no, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of, you know, magical way of doing this, but if she could just be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll 
sacrifice every life on this island for power. Why don't we just be like, well, we sacrifice her life for power? Is that not what we were planning on doing anyway? I mean, why don't we just do it right now? That was my plan. You just want to speed run this thing? Yeah, call the manager. Can we, uh, um, yeah, to that point, would it be worth uh, just uh, having you think about that? <laughs> well, <laughs> so, I'll, that... I'll, I'll posit you this. Do you think Belcora is chaotic? Because if that's the case, all we need to do is let whatever's in this Pandora's box out, fight it, and then find Melkora, and I'll just put her in the box. I don't think anyone running a tower or a castle to the extent that she did is necessarily chaotic. That She just seems to have too much of a... Um, she did kind of run into angle. the swamp. Now, hold on. I know one or two things about being in a box. <laughs> I think we should fight whatever is in this box. <laughs> I, uh... oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> gonna pull out the fence for as well. No, not here. Um, I'm just gonna look around at the cat on the table and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just uh, kind of does a little bit of a stretch before kind of laying oh, down again. Oh, big stretch. I mean, <laughs> finding it here with Trevor and Prussia to help us and also, oh, yeah, you know, these guys. Totally. I just feel like we've set up a really nice uh, little marketplace here, and it's um, we wouldn't want to disturb the peace. Like, so we could take it to somewhere we've already cleared out in the vaults. And if you open it up in this room, Harry, I am going to put you in the box. Okay, that's fair enough. I'm not chaotic, but what if we go? And... I know. <laughs> what if we go and rouse the bullet and then open it in there? What if we open in the bullet? Um, <laughs> what if we go see this ancient dragon and open it there? What if we open it in the ancient dragon? <laughs> the there are so many choices. Problem. All of these are good options. It's really good to have you back, princess. It's good to be here. Let's go fight a monster. <laughs> yeah. All right. Has everyone finished their shopping? <laughs> yeah. 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 What about that uh, that screechy boy? Um, no. <laughs> I th I think we could take it on. I think we're well rested. We've got punch face. I think we could do it. I would rather fight the bullet before we go and fight that thing. It's on Why the next not? level oh. down. Or we clear <laughs> this level first. Bullet was heavily implied to be an optional dangerous encounter. So, um... Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, are we doing it? Oh. <laughs> We don't have to do it right away, but there's heaps more to that floor. Yeah, let's still some, some let's, let's, still let's some just stuff get down to, to that floor west. and see where it takes us. Yeah. 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 Didn't you guys yeah, say something did. about there being a hydra? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a hydra. Oh well, yeah, you guys have all the right? fun. I imagine this is actually what we did last night while we were drinking, was regaling you with all yeah. of the tales. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Oh. I'm vaguely aware, but I also got very blasted. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're like, you guys mentioned a hydra, right? Yes, last night. Uh -uh. Eh. And welcome back to the arena level. Alright. I've seen Are we... I was going to say we could go check on that mummy guy, but let's not. <laughs> also, there is still these two... Oh, that's the teleportation circle there. But there's the trap room that we couldn't get through. That's uh, true. Hmm. Also, um, Bill, just be aware that uh, dropping stuff in the vendors does not give you the gold for it. Yeah, no. They I, just I... snatch it out of your hands. It's very rude. Yeah, it's very rude of them. I manualed it. Hey, guys, you didn't go through all the doors, did you? No. Not yet. Not this one. Oh, go, 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 go. It's all yours, bud. There's a guy in there. Ah. In in this in this room. Yeah. Are uh, you opened it already? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you went through the subsequent antechamber. Um, <laughs> this one doesn't have one of those. That's, I that, don't that's, believe you. That's very no, right? <laughs> no, that's I. Do, what? No, it doesn't make any sense. All right. <laughs> Matt, are you able to shift me here, please? Over the rail. Sure. Thank you. Yep. I like that there's, right, the fact that there's no antechamber is more of a 
thing that there's a guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, it even better be so. than that, there was a door here, but someone has removed it. Hang on Good. a second, is this the same ah, chain demon so that we fought before? there was an antechamber. Hello? Hello? The... Isn't that chick from before? This is a different chick. Ah, I see. But she uh, turns hi. around to face all of you. Immediately hunt prey. This one's uh, got more of a hoo oh. energy to it. <laughs> yeah, remember, <laughs> she, um, she has attack of opportunity and she has reach with those chains. That's the one. Because we're not standing near a chain, which is that anywhere in the room. wily bitch. Yeah. Um, uh, Hello. And knowing this, I'm going to stand... Here, here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, whisper to, to Ida and say, can, can, can you give me a clear line of sight, please? Uh, Hi. Ida. Uh, I think we don't. And does nothing because Ida's short. My name's Harry the Hobnoblin. We're just Hello. making our way down, down the dungeon. Uh, are you gonna try and murder us? Well, I have been told of your coming. Oh, who told you? Well, my Ooh. sister on her way out. Oh, that's and, right. And my way out. Oh, was your sister a chain demon by any chance? <laughs> she just kind just, of raises she... an eyebrow and goes, y "Yes." Yeah. Well, we're sorry. She did. She did do the trying to murder us quite a bit. So. Well, to be fair, that's kind of what we do. So, are you safe to say then? I mean... <laughs> so you're a bunch of conformists? Yeah. That's cool. I, I get it. That's cool. You don't want to be cool. I, I get it. It's, it's well, right. Well, we are devils. Yeah, which means you follow rules, and your rules could be not murder these four cool people. <laughs> then I raise an eyebrow, just like... I'm pretty sure murder is illegal in most places. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I, are you oh. a sheriff? Are you a god? I don't think so. A god? I wish. God. I get the jump on this lady, so as soon as I get the impression she's... Oh yeah, no, you can see the chain starting to animate. Alright, um... She rolled initiative. Can I roll initiative? Stealthy? Oh <laughs> uh, no, not stealth. Um, I don't know if she can see me from it, probably, but I'm not hiding. Well, you, you are, you are, do have a light on. I do have a light on, yeah. <laughs> because otherwise I'd be in darkness and I'd get a minus two to... But I will get everyone else to roll their initiative. Oh, that's Oof. not good. Better than hers. Oh! Oh, nice. Go hide up. Oh, Yay. Okay. Well, the change Jews start to whip about as they start to latch on. Well, they start to lash around people in an attempt to grapple them. But Ito uh -oh. will be first. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna point the tip of my staff towards this creature and cast. Ray of Enfeeblement. Please make a thing, and I'll do a thing. Or something. Nice! Uh, I, hear a I thought yeah. that was her. <laughs> I will use the hero point. Uh, it's not very much better. Unfortunately, that will not hit her. Okay. Because it is an attack spell, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll get. He sidesteps out of the way. Move up. Necromancy? You come here with necromancy? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> necromatic husk. If you could try and. To view that thing, please. I imagine Compy would feel a little bit hurt by being described like that. Right? Compy, feel? 
Oh, it's it's just a bad it's just a bad time all round for uh for Ida. Yeah, it's just kind of bad It's fine. Well, let's see Princess do her thing. I still appreciate you, Ida. I would like to rage. Oh, straight out with the rage. Oh out. yeah, that's the ticket. Ugh. That's right. Now I remember how this goes. I mean, first combat, you have to start with the rage now, don't you? Get all up in your biz. And ten. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. You don't need to do that? Uh... What you doing, I'm princess? Wondering. I know it's been a while. I don't remember if press is something I can only do as a second action. Yeah, correct. It is. Okay, never mind. I will just punch. Target. I'm a monkey. That's a hit! Oh yeah! That Ooh, nice. That's nice, nice. And that's me done. Alright. Um, I'm going to use my first action to cast Guidance on myself. Um, and that's my Hunt Prey. I'm pretty sure that's out the range of my volley. So I'm going yeah, to Yeah, no, it should Hunt be. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use Hunter's Aim. And with guidance and hunter's aim, all the fun stuff. It's a plus. Oh yeah, fish. <laughs> I've got a hero point. That yeah, no, that's, that's fair. Un unbelievable. Ah, oh, Foundry, please let me right click. Matt, it's only can you right click. Can you hero point it for me? It's yeah, it's okay. just taking forever to load. Matt, you oh, were supposed to thanks, be Matt. Oh, 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 oh. Can I question if I hit if I hit punch face and then I hit punch face. Yes, I will allow okay, that. Okay, I want to push this. All right. Um, roll again. I don't think I can hear a point again, so I'll just roll it again and let me put guidance in that one. Roll again. <laughs> oh. Why? Two, two, Gang. and a four. Okay. Gang, what's happening? All right, roll your damage as it goes for Princess. My long bow damage as well. My <laughs> AC is higher than that. And? I know, but I, I pushed and failed. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, right, Princess. Good, good to have you back, Princess. <laughs> I'm not used to be, you <laughs> being there. It's, have been, been, a, it's been a while. The bullet, the arrow ricochets off your ceramic back. <laughs> Ow. So, uh, anything else, Nathana? No, because the first action guidance, second, two actions, Hunter's aim. What a waste of a plus 17. Wow. Also. <laughs> Oh, right, her action. Well, people want to grapple her and be all up in her face. I'm going to give um, Punch Trace a hero point as apologies for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The guilt runs strong within you. Oh, yeah, it does. This is how I get into heaven, right? Yeah, yeah. one hero, hero point princess. at a time. <laughs> She is going to do a bit of a glare at you, Princess. Okay. Need you to make Me. a will save. No. All right. Ooh, that's fun. And I need to actually select you, because otherwise it's going to put it on her, and that would be bad. Ah. Use My that hero point. All along. Game. Oh, right, and I'll remember that for next turn. That's one action, and then she's going to attack you. Target. 
Oh my god. god. <laughs> hey Matt. Look, I don't fucking know, okay? This feels <laughs> like bullying. <laughs> Yeah, look, I I don't know, okay? That's I, cool, man. That's cool. You, you do you. Oh, only half max damage. That's fine. And we'll just add the bleed on you as well. Right. <laughs> you can ignore that one. Yeah. And for her second action... Third action. Third action, thank you. Uh, using the chains, she's going to attempt to drag you, Ider. Oh, okay. That makes sense. She succeeds spectacularly, I'm sure. Well, that'll be at a minus still... five, but it'll still succeed, I think. Well, I would imagine so. If it's Jill's anything to do with my, my athletics. Well... The chains will come up from the pit itself and drag you into ah. the center. Uh-huh. Oh, that feels bad. Yeah. Nice. Doing this, it will trigger the trap that was laid there. Oh, oh I walked right through there. You walked along the edge of it. I was waiting for Did someone I? to walk through it. Oh! <laughs> I was waiting nice. for someone to just walk right across it and fall in. I was mm -hmm. like, nope. All right, I need you to make a reflex save. Uh, Ider, unless you want to attempt to grab the edge. In which case, I do what? Make a reflex save. <laughs> <laughs> you do Got make it. a reflex save. So if you have a reaction, you can attempt to grab an edge and not fall in. Mm -hmm. I I'll try that. I got a 10. <laughs> I don't, please. Oh no. Fall All in. The way Back to the boneyard. Uh, there are worse things than the boneyard, like a pit full of hydras. Well, thankfully, this one doesn't go all the way down. Ah, oh, sweet. Unfortunately, however, a bunch of rusty in the... chains are at the bottom of it. Ah. So, that's a ten oh. mm. so first things first I don't know we'll if take Mungus, 20 Mungus. bludgeoning damage from the fall uh huh thank you it's okay either it's a great pit <laughs> <laughs> and as you kind of do the big off from the impact yeah the swinging door for the grate mm. itself uh, starts to break from the pressure and falls down on top of you. Oh, rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oof. As it crashes down around you. Oh Oof. my god, he was a good character. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the boneyard. <laughs> <laughs> For different reason this time, though. That is them done, however. Harry. I have to break chains. Keep it gay. Flanking, yes. I know how to flanking. Way oh, to go, I'm team. just within 60 feet. Yes, thank you. No. 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 I swear to God. <laughs> oh my lord. Gang. Hero points. That's all of us. <laughs> Wow. wow. What a turn! <laughs> hey, listen, can we take a rain check on Wait, this trying to kill each other sort of will, thing? Will a 21 at all? A 21 will not hit. Okay, never mind. I forgot to apply my courage. And she's just kind of ducking and weaving between, you know, the fists Stop and it. the axe swings. It's just like, I, I, are you all okay? Like, you beat my not sister bad. pretty easily. <laughs> This is supposed to be a triumph. <laughs> Would you ever read a book? <laughs> Iso. Um, how deep is the pit? 20 feet. In the pit, mate. 
and it's like stone wall or brick wall. You can climb it. No. <laughs> if, it, if it's a sheer brick wall, I cannot climb it. <laughs> well, it's little stubby sure. mushroom fingers. Is it, is it damp down here? It is damp down, down here. here. Yeah, okay, so the walls are a bit slick as well. No, I got no chance. Um, There's plenty of chains around. <laughs> it, like, hanging or just in a pile on the ground? Kind of in a pile on the ground. Yeah, I, I can't throw a chain to um, Ida, if you either. if you hold your turn to after me, I'll be able to get you out. Um, I can shoot the climbing bolt up into the ceiling and it drops down a 50 foot length of rope. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, I'll I'll instruct Compi to continue to attack, uh, and then I'll just wait down here. Compi will miss, and Compi will miss. Okay. Princess. <laughs> and um, and I could probably, <laughs> or I could hit. Me. You do currently have two hero points, and you're the only one in the party with them. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Ida. See, that's a hit. Yay. Combat grab. Nice. Yeah, it didn't work out. Once again, you have two hero points. So you know what? You're right. You are mm. right. Hmm. Math. Yeah. It's so only you right oh, wait. click. Oh, wait. For some reason, it's doing it on the bottom now. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> cool. Love that. I believe you have one action left. Yeah, but... You can always move. No. Yeah, didn't think so. All right. The final. Um. All right. So I'm gonna actually use just a standard attack on the thing. Uh, with inspired courage. I'll turn up Hunter's name. So this is just one action. That's nice. A hit. Thanks to Lovely. Inspire Courage. <laughs> nice. Alright. It's taking a while for the dice rolls to show up on my end. Um, <laughs> take that for what it is. Um, it's and I'm going to use my second action to activate my climbing bolt and then the third action to shoot up in the ceiling right above Ida um, to take the multi-attack penalty on the less important shot. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll for that. Alright. So, and then as soon as the um, bolt hits the ceiling, it's got to drop down 50 length, 50 feet length of rope. Nice. And that's my turn. And it comes up 10 foot short, making sure I don't have to leap for it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> 30 foot vaunted ceiling, yeah. Yeah, if you're telling me it's 30 feet to the roof, I don't Vaunt believe it. you. Yeah, Jesus. It'd have to be 40, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the bullet pit it's 30 feet. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Mm. Alright, that's the bullet pit is kind of it's kind of huge. Well, it's turn. Well, you're kind of happy in the pit now, Ider, so less concerned. However, very concerned mm. about Princess Punchface. I'm not sure those are the words I'd use, but okay. hear from down the pit. Whee! Yay! I'm having so much fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> so, Princess, you're going to get lashed first. You don't know. <laughs> do, do we want to put bets on a 20 again? Oh. I'll be good. No, that's a 
really bad bet. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a hit. Oh, my secret too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're already bleeding, so there's not gonna be any extra bleeding there. All right. Not gonna use the impaling chains because you're already here. So, Harry, you'll be next. Yeah. We. Mostly because she sees that axe and knows that it could very well kill her. Can she sure, not do that? Why not? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Back. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. This is because I complained that my creatures never hit, isn't it? I think what we're going to do is just start our own game and not have Matt involved. <laughs> <laughs> that is well over a while. Wow, wow, wow. And, um... For her last action, she will activate her aura, because I keep forgetting to do that. And some of her wounds will heal. <laughs> oh! Oh! Great! <laughs> Harry! Nice. Uh, Harry's gonna yell, I'M NOT HAVING FUN! And that's why courage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are you inspired, guys? Uh, uh, and then, since I had my last action was to make a cantrip, uh, a sorry, a composition uh, action. I'm going to cast Reverb, um, which is nice. Is a is it a you original? Is it, it is someone? It is a me original. I actually wrote this. This is that me. original. Um, being very and, kind and testing out some new mechanics that were figuring out for Sinclair's. So Reboot has the brand new Ripple trait, which means if I recently cast a composition cantrip, I can um, do the Ripple which is basically to cast it, but instead of uh, doing the effect, it just does the listed damage. Uh, so you give me a fortitude. D20 fortitude. You're going to succeed at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine. yeah. 14 damage. <laughs> I think the, the, the stun 2 is the exciting part. It's stun 2, unfortunately. Um, because. One minute. No, Ripple uh, uh, just. If, if the previous spell was a ca composition cantrip, I can cast a fun action. But oh, it only see, does yeah. listed damage instead of totally um, the full yeah. spell. Yeah. And none of the cool stuff on that, that one, unfortunately. But I'll take 14 damage and dealt me damage like an idiot. And we'll suffer for it. <laughs> Good work. Well, you've at the very least undone her regeneration. Now, a, a bit more than the very least. Thank you. <laughs> at the end of the initiative, sorry, at the end of your turn, I need you to make a will save. Will save. This is a fear effect, so you'll get the plus one bonus from Inspire Courage. You're good. I don't know if I applied it. Not that that should, would matter. On an 18. And I'll roll my re. Oh, no, that's just the bleed. Why is that two times? Is it two times speed on a critical? Yeah, but they're particularly my, my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, I take 10 damage and stop bleeding. See, you, people can save from things. <laughs> I can roll ones on saves, and it's fine. It wasn't on anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great spell, but it didn't do it. <laughs> Ice her. All right. Compy, keep keep trying to hit that thing. <laughs> Compy. Look, look. Nope. They're worried, okay? Nope. Dad's in Are they? 
Uh, and their parental will, fungus is in a pit. I will attempt to climb. Yep. Yes. Athletics. Check. I will attempt to climb. Cool. I got a three. <laughs> uh, you do not get far climb. at all. <laughs> nope. I do not. I'll use my second action to attempt to climb. One. <laughs> that is good. Hey guys, it's hard to climb a rope without fingers. You gotta, you gotta wrap it around your knees. I should have grabbed some fingers. <laughs> We've got our own up here, Ida. <laughs> Mike, there's a choice. Okay. In the and someone very just... kind in the um, chat has gifted people with hero points. Oh my god. Oh, thank you very much. I. Ida sits down. Right. It's like, you know what? This isn't working. Um, no. No. Alright. Princess Punchface. Stop me if you've heard this. Are you gonna punch? I'm gonna punch your face. Nice. No, I'm not. Did you have a hero thing. point? <laughs> there there go. you go. Nice. Nice. That's some respectable damage. If you could hit one more, I'd be it. The benefit of flat footed. It's a bit weird when you're on the square. It should be flat footed. So, would a 23 hit if it was a flat footed? Let me double check. No, no that is quite so. correct. It should have hit. Oh, it should. Yes! Yeah, normal armor class is 24. Oh, of course you do the big damage for that. Yeah. Of course. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. The Thana! <laughs> We're dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, Matt, if you <laughs> wouldn't mind getting me over this rail. Certainly. <laughs> I can get you over the rail. Thank you. As the devil comes apart and turns into a rust-colored mess upon the ground, the chains that have been shaking and shuddering throughout the entire fight finally settle. You're right down that, uh, I'm sorry, I was rude, uh, I thought we were all gonna die. Yeah, hey, I'm okay. I'm gonna climb down the rope and... Get either out. Because oh. we're going to be here for it. <laughs> oh. Yep. I was just going to pull him up. Oh, yeah, you could just pull the rope. That also works. Hold with on. A, with a 28, that's more than enough to help either out of the pit. Oh, I'm going to use it here. Aid point. arbitrarily. Fail. Yeah. Nice. Matt, can you. um? Oh, here we go. We're all using a hero point. Please work. Is it gonna work for you? Hey, hey. There, there we go. go. And thank you for the villain point, chat. I appreciate it. All right. So yeah. we we're gonna have words. <laughs> Harry, That's take this it. amount of damage, and then. Ow. And then take this healing. Oh, I need more healing than that. Uh... Do, do, do. <laughs> All right. Same with punch face now. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. So take the damage and then take the healing. Ah, oh, it feels good to and be alive again. Lucky last item. Doesn't it? Remove the arrow from your back. Just push it's it a good all healing the way through. That said, 
there are doors Thanks. that lead to the north and south from this room. Any good loot? Just chains, right? Just, Just lots chains. of chains. Lot, lots yeah. of chains. <laughs> yeah. Even, like, 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 you Pretty definitely cool. get the feeling that this is like an early stages of a hoarder. <laughs> Just like collecting Stutter. whatever chain they can it's find. It's just like the most it's... boring possible <laughs> hobby I could imagine. There's a stack of better homes and gardens in the corner. It's just so <laughs> I do stand up comedy, guys. <laughs> I might do gardening one day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, I, hear, I hear planting palm trees is a good idea. <laughs> Hello, and much water. Shaman's down. I'm gonna take the seek action as I move through this corridor. I'm also um just looking up for things. Let's watch for some traps. Oh, no traps. These. Great. All right, we got some more rooms. We got. It's a. Uh... Are these supposed to be locked? They're just. They are. They are fit. locked. Was right. Yeah. Hello. The, the creatures it's, that uh, are in these pens slash cages were once alive. Mm -hmm. Viscera. Uh, and more viscera. <laughs> Since then, however, <laughs> they have died and succumbed to decay. I don't I don't know if they turned you into just organs. Even more keen not to die now. <laughs> It's worse because you can't even identify what they were once upon a time. Well, this is this is it. This, is, this whole section. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's more honest than anything, right? Not every part of a dungeon is going to be interesting, especially <laughs> when you've done side quests. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, I see. I mean, if you were a regular necromancer, we'd have some fun here, but uh, I don't think that's gonna help us. It probably wouldn't help us either way. No, it looks yeah. pretty bleak in here. It's woefully bleak. Ooh. What do you know? The guard. This corridor leads further south. Do you want to take? I'll take the other. Sure. Just like, just, just go hand, hand situation. Three, Terrible. Two, two, two one. Two, one. Yeah. I win. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, shut this one. <laughs> I didn't see anything, but to the east, and this appears to be a storage room. And despite the spiderwebs that are accumulating in the corners and upon the roof, it's in reasonably good condition, and someone seems to be still using it. Nathana! I'm just taking a while to think about my, my movements, because your foundry. I have to be very decisive with where I want to go, because it takes a million years. Nathana, I found these for you. Oh, what'd you find? It's a bunch of bottles and things. Medical kits. Oh, hello. Because you like medical. Because <laughs> you like medical things. I mean, there are expanded healer's tools, which are 50 feet yes. deep. So that's lovely. Yes. Well, I mean, it's making me a set of because you like kit. medical stuff. Yes. You're a doctor, right? <laughs> Certainly. I, I don't think doctors are allowed to stab their patients quite that far. How do you think they do surgery? I don't know. I've never about surgery. Okay, basically, yeah. Nathana is my <laughs> Nathana is my total like idea of what medicine is. Okay. I literally <laughs> basically surgery is they knock you out and then they challenge you to a knife fight. That doesn't sound like you'd win. That's the point. <laughs> and then you feel better Back. afterwards. In the hobgoblin camp, they do should just put this like nice mud on it, and then it'd be like, all right, go on. And kick you out. That was it. Back in my day, they used to just put a bandit on the <laughs> and kiss on the forehead. Jeez, creep! <laughs> Where the hell did you I get that? 
Oh, it was a bun it was a part of the medical supplies, wasn't it? <laughs> was it? Compi, can I please have that? Compi was Compi uh, was not... the big heat cream in a bottle, or was it loose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in a bottle, but he proceeded to squeeze the entire yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. into one of their orifices. <laughs> oh. spits it up a different orifice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I love that that came through. House cleaning. Come to clean your House? technology lab. Uh, princess, as you right. enter this room die <laughs> uh you the brand upon your forehead begins to glow i uh princess yeah your, your heads I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys i don't know what that means am i in danger am i going to explode is that what it's this means not, it's not blinking i'm pretty sure it blinks when you explode okay Look, let's just say it's lucky you have bangs because <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you this one. Somebody do something. What, what's going on? Do I want it? This room feels haunted. Ah, oh, sweet. Ah, uh, this is just a haunting. Oh, my head glows when there's a ghost. Well, maybe that's gonna be so useful. You're sort of a ghost. I am not sort of a ghost. Mm, no, I just sort of squints at you and takes a step away. <laughs> I know. I know we're friends. <laughs> I don't please. <laughs> Pompey pats you on the back like, yeah, I, I understand, buddy. I <laughs> too am undead. <laughs> <Thank you>. oh. <laughs> the place does radiate with necromatic energy. Mm. Either. Yeah, okay. Surprise, surprise. If there's a ghost in here, can you come out? I need to check something. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a spirit stands up from the de deceased body upon the table. Well, there you go. Could have just asked. Hello. See, yeah, I'm not a ghost. Though that answers one question. I mean, I don't think you hit it. Anyway. You, I think your fist just went straight through it because you're a ghost. <laughs> so I'll get everyone else to roll initiative. Um, oh, good. Uh, why if you want to use that 23 religion check, you can, Ider. Thanks. Oh, th did you see that roll onto the 11 and then just. Nah. Just like no, like he did. All right, let's get a good look at this guy first. It's not better than Please. the other one either. It's identical. Oh, that's cool. It's this guy again. Okay. That's. Oh my God, it, it's a ghost. The fuck. It's like a ghost, but it's also a bomb. <laughs> I'd make an Iron Kingdoms reference, but I don't think anyone would get it. No. That's oh, very fun. nice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to go straight to it, but let's do this. Hey, princess. Hey. It is going to attack you. Rude. Well, I don't know what else you were expecting. It's going to attack you with its vile, its spectral corruption, though. Okay. Hey, is that good? That doesn't look good. I need you to make a will save. Oh, great. Those things are bad. Uh oh. <laughs> You have a hero point. Yeah, but it's so much more interesting when it's a will save fail. Right? <laughs> Anything could happen. This is actually kind of perfect. Are you going to get possessed again? Don't no, you I dare get so. possessed again. What if I just cape all the ghosts inside me? 
For one thing, you become stupefied too, as you feel the spirit try to enter you. Okay. As it does, however, we see a bright light flash from Princess Punchface herself, uh, as if it were coming from her forehead. And as it tries to kind of possess her small form, it gets shunted back. We have the, the anti-ghost. My god, you're ghost-proof! And the light goes dim. Oh. Oh, we used to- That's less good! <laughs> <laughs> My one thing! <laughs> In response, however, it is going to scream at you. Okay. Fruit. Against your will, DC, I believe that will be successful. Yeah, man! You don't have to stay in this room, yeah? It's becoming more and more apparent. <laughs> oh. I should I die? <laughs> Nathana! I'm gonna use my first action to cast my recall knowledge bomb, hypercognition. Yep, okay. Um, so, if you want to just tell me, rather than have you roll six times. <laughs> okay. It has resistance to all damage, except for force, ghost touch, positive. Uh-huh. It has double resistance versus non-magical sources. Uh-huh. It has a vile touch and a frightful pet presence as an aura. I see. When you say positive damage, is that the same as good damage? I usually say yes. I know... It Rules as written, they are different things, but I kind of feel right. like that's bullshit. All right. Um. Especially creatures that have negative healing. Yep. Far away. Is that... Okay, that's two range increments. It's not hunted prey just yet. So I'm going to use my next two actions to get my... Um holy water vial yep and attempt to hit this square and get splash, splash damage on it to try to get its good damage um weakness with one splash damage i don't know what you want me to roll for that and it's at two range increments so it'd be a minus two to the roll you're just aiming for the square as opposed to yeah yep. any target. any square that is within 40 feet of me so that's the basically the front anything within please don't shoot I'm not going to make you roll for that. Yeah. Because you're just aiming for the square. Pathfinder 1 used to say AC5 to hit a square, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, so we're just rolling for the 1 then. So, no, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to make you roll it. You're expending the resource. Yeah, so an action to get it out of my bandolier and then action to throw it, because that's what we decided with bombs. I'd take two actions. Um, um, the splash damage is 1? One? 1? One? 1 good damage, and if you have said that it's the same as positive, I'm hoping to proc the weakness. Yay! Yeah, that's proc the weakness, <laughs> it's just not a lot. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, at least I did some damage to it, because I would not be able to damage this thing with my bow. And that's my turn. Alright. I Uh, Please, sir, just... I understand that your body's no longer <laughs> useful, but... That one's being used... Uh, and I'm going to cast Searing Light. <laughs> Just straight into it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use my, use my doodad. Yep, use the doodad. Ah, uh, probably should try it. Oh, oh, oh man, that's not good. Just by oh, well. one. <laughs> Miss on a 24 is not very nice, no. Hmm, well. Are you good with that? Um, yeah, probably. As much uh, as anyone can be. Yeah. Hmm. I'll sort of touch my mushroomy nub to my chin. Because mm -hmm. the specter in question kind of floats out of the way of your searing light. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. Maybe we should leave. 
I'm down. I'm, I'm okay with that, actually, yeah. Is the plan to leave? Well, I'm gonna move to here. That's, okay. that's my turn. <laughs> Yep, we're running. You may continue to run, Princess. I'm not big enough to grab everyone. <laughs> <laughs> or anyone. I can grab everyone. <laughs> I, I can pick you up. Don't you dare. <laughs> I mean, you could probably grab Eider and Compi in a hand each. Yeah, no, with the 30 in athletics, you want to drag both of them out? Yeah. Well, if they're willing. Yeah. I'll have to drag you out, though, because it is not your turn. Yeah, fair point. Ida's willing and Compi is oblivious. All right. Harry, leaving? I'm going to pull out the ghost charge from my bandolier and, and yeet it. At it, that's plus seven on whatever this is. No, oh, never mind. Jeez. And we're out. We're out. <laughs> I throw a wow. ghost charge directly um, against the wall, and <laughs> that could be yeah. you. Yeah. You use it just... like a smoke bomb. You throw it directly <laughs> at your feet and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the specter screech. So tempting just to stop the fanfare. Okay. Let's not fight any unnecessary. Just that sounds like a good idea. How like maybe we set that as a rule for our party. Yeah, is that the second badly. time we've been completely whooped by ghosts? Well, I don't think that was as bad. I think I'm gonna Wait, be we had the sense to run away. I'm, yeah. I'm worried about fighting the actual ghost queen now. That it's yeah. two for two. <laughs> you do is hear it... a slam on the door. Oh, shut up. How? How is that possible? By all, from your hypercognition, Nathana, it, it should just be able to pass through the doors. Uh, I see. It's, well, it's bound this baby's not going out anytime soon. I slap the door. Or... These doors this can, hold, can hold, so hold so many, many ghosts. ghosts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's just occurring to me, though. I think, um... Do you remember that really creepy-ass book that we have? Oh uh, yeah. No. Once a day we can we can mute the ghost. Once a day without exposing ourselves to the to the curse. Yes. We can we can That do is what the book says, the book that is evil, the evil book that says that we can nuke the ghost with it. The it's book sort of, of like that vocabulary. If you ask them, they have to tell you. It's a book, Ida. It's, it's a set of law. instructions. Instructions. People can are... lie in books. The intention with instructions is to be very clear, and I think the someone like to me the way I read the instructions is not that um, like whoever's reading this book wants to get the curse. So it's like just remember if you want to get the curse, do it at least more than once a day. <laughs> you know, like it's just it seems very intentional. Look, do you think rattling. so? So the book will let you do what once per day? Uh, nuke a ghost for 5d6 positive damage, DC uh, save 27. It's not even that good. Yeah, but you know, 5d6... I mean, DC save 27 is pretty good, but um, the dude, 5d6... Yeah, 15 damage average with a weakness of 5, do you have a second 20 damage thing, a one-off? Um... Yeah, at the moment it's not actually that good, is it? This uh... goes to show that there's no point in messing with culture. Conversely, I could take one of these doors off their hinges and use that as a weapon. But what if the door is the only thing holding it in? Yeah, then I beat it to death again with the door. Hmm. So I don't think the door itself is what's holding it in. It's like it's the sense that the room is it's just connected don't... to the room. So I start ripping up the room and beating it with ghosts. <laughs> Start ripping it's, up the, the floor tiles. Not to get metaphysical, but this, the concept of the room is that the walls enclose it with the door. It's just, if as soon as you take away the doors, they're no longer. The, I, don't, I need you room. to figure out a way I can rip up a concept and beat a ghost with it. <laughs> I'll work on it. Thank you. <laughs> you hear scratching Ow. from the other side of the Ow. door. Oh my How long god! Am I stupefied for. Can we make it into an axe, and it could be an abstract 
I'm oh yeah. Abstract. I'm, 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 I'm Should we have this conversation with Pip somewhere else? That is um, a really good Yeah, point. like through this, this one down here. We did it. Nobody oh. Oh. How long am I stupid for? Uh, one stupid. hour. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. My brain. It's a critical failure. What is this? You don't know. That's the portcullis. We're underneath. Oh, it's a portcullis. Perception. Oh, yeah, that's a portcullis. <laughs> We're in the hallway All right. underneath. Makes and sense. It's... It's a shot port colors? Yeah. Well, you can't actually see it anyway because we're in the hallway underneath. Oh. Princess. Hey. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I see. This room looks like it has been the site of. Battle would be the wrong word. Revelry. But I'm there's definitely battle. been two sides to this conflict. Oh, we know a party when we've seen one. They have pizza ovens in here. Oh, oh my god. God I... damn it. <laughs> Everybody out. <laughs> um, I hate to tell you this, Punch Face, you take seven damage because I failed my one on my risky surgery check. Rolls tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a long lie. As you More enter, guys... two specters rise from the furniture and they start to fling various goods and objects at each other. You're each the other. reason we're stuck in here! Ooh, let's watch no, no brother! You're the one who wanted to go to this place in the middle of a swamp. Okay, okay, okay. I, like, lift my, my hands up. Alright, what's going on here? Harry, I know how to fix I never feel... one of the guests have been here. Harry, you have to... Play the song of storms. Tell Ida all about it. Uh, Don't take his side. Take my side. I could only. Yes, I you're quite right. Tell me about really it. Badly, and I didn't bring one. No, no. The guest is for me, sister. Now, if anyone wants to do like a perception check, absolutely. Please kind of getting a vibe for the room. Iter. Hey, wow, I rolled over five. You did roll pretty decently. Uh, these two ghosts... Ah. These two ghosts do appear to be fighting. Uh-huh. As you could probably expect. Yep. And you generally get the feeling that they're blaming each other for some sort of action. Mm-hmm. And they want you to choose a side, but whether you wish to choose a side or not is up to you. Ah, uh, it is it is it is both of your wishes that I choose a side, is it? Well, it is obviously her fault that we're stuck here. I will choose whomever's side tells me what is going on. That's, that was that's. Give me a diplomacy check. You do you, man. <laughs> diplomacy. Ba, 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 ba. What about because I don't actually intend to necessarily pick their side? I just want them to tell me what I'm doing. Uh, deception. Deception. You could do that. Yeah. Could you try that deception? <laughs> that doesn't like bind me into some sort of picking at the end of the process. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. And yes, Tyler, that's correct. And what was the question? <laughs> uh, I said I will pick whomever's side tells me what is going on here. Yeah, no, that is kind of that is the deception type thing. Yeah. We have been trapped in this room since the fall of the god light. There's a bit of that going around. And it is her fault that we're stuck in here and there is no escape from this room. Hmm. You don't think it's Belcora's fault? Well, of course it's Belcora's fault, says the sister. But we if can't I may... do anything about Belcora, can we? 
Most well, things I've never for as well. <laughs> what if I gave you the option to be able to do something about it? One of them was kind of like mid throw of a cup with its natural uh -huh. hand and kind of pauses. Speak, mortal. Surely your family experience tells you that working together only prospers you both, right? What <laughs> if you kind of worked together situation. and had the <laughs> had the <laughs> option to take down the actual true cause of this curse, Belcora? What if you would decide with me against my quest against Belcora? Our only so desire is to Belcora. leave this place. I think you could probably help them do that too, Ida. Probably. What 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 have you tried to get out? Other than and I sort of just gesticulate to the broken shit everywhere. Well, the doors are closed, aren't they? Ah, well, you'll presently see the door to my north is open. There is no door to the south. Ah, uh, not a door. Uh, as you examine it, Harry, it seems to be some sort of you kind of window. This is a corporate box, is that? It is a corporate box. It's yes. not a window per se. It definitely looks like it should be a cobble wall, but via magic, it has been made transparent. Oh. At least from this side, anyway. Hey, princess, we gotta smash a hole. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That stupefied's really doing its work, huh? Uh, yeah, the stupefied. <laughs> it does feel like a stone wall. Uh, Alright, we'll keep working. No. Uh, Alright, well, we're gonna smash that wall for you guys, but the doors are open, as I just said, so... Diplomacy check. Feel free. Uh, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> you have a hero point. Oh, I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't unless you do. Chat gave you were given one. A third. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I get that one up. We got they, a 21. That's what we're doing. Look to the door. As they kind of make their way over to it. And they both kind of put their hands to the threshold and their hands kind of go through it. Mm -hmm. I, I give them a thumbs up. And I have to check something GM side. The metaphysical plane of existence explodes. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Okay. We're free! We're free, brother! Oh, finally! After all these years, sister, we can finally leave this place! And with a rushing of spectral wind... Oh, wait, put a good review for us on Yelp. That really helps you out. The Kelp. The Bogard <laughs> Run Yelp. review service. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a rush of spectral wind, the two of them leave. I can't all the ghosts. Was that you hitting delete? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't have a fancy graphic to just be like, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, it's just usually uh, um, RTX would cut that out. And instead, I just heard, yeah. Quant, you did it. You did it loud Quant. and hard enough. <laughs> There's a whooshing sound. Whoosh. No, princess, we don't need to. It's all... I just thought yeah. it would be nice to give them options, but. They seemed like nice people. They seemed like confused people. And also, why can't all the ghosts behave this way? You put a significant in... crack in the wall, princess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As in, this will take multiple successes. Ah, oh, look. 
Compy Why not? sees what's happening. Compy helps! Why not? He a gives you a plus, plus two. two. Plus yeah. two. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Between the two of you. Oh. We really can't complain about not my good rolls when we need them. <laughs> we <can't do> <laughs> no, it's it's Nick, just so you're all well aware. What? I didn't do anything this time. When the rolls don't matter? Yeah. And you manage to smash a hole through the wall. The magical effect breaking. Okay. Guys, we made a door. That is really far down. It's like a full flight of stairs down. Pumpy, no! No, I don't think it is. What? It's... Now. The stairs here that we went down. No, it's, <laughs> it's level. Is it? Yeah. It's vaguely level. You have descended perhaps yes. five feet. Oh. But well, we don't... to explain that door to the north there, the singular one, uh, it would have been stairways down at some point, but it has completely collapsed in. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, for that. Well, really quickly do an assurance roll for Punch Face's um, well being. Fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It. This is all fine. My blood's still in my body. You have blood. Oh, we'll keep, we're gonna Whose keep it. Whose blood is it? <laughs> and you oh, find no. yourselves back at the arena itself. Nice. Wait, was that pretty true for healing? Insurance, so. Now, if you all want to do perception checks to see where the bullet's at. Oh, yeah. Just chilling. You can absolutely take on a bullet. Everybody rolls. It is moving in and around the sand and the dirt. Ah, that makes sense. It, it looks like a giant statue was moved over to here and then thrown into the dirt. I wonder what happened. <laughs> Yeah. Looks like people are prepping. Where are you going, Harry? You're good, Harry! Finally, you're muted. You know, you're absolutely right. I was muted. And I can't remember all the hilarious things I said when I was <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know that jumping down there is such a good idea at the moment, guys. Copy. <laughs> Copy, don't you dare. There's <laughs> like one foot <laughs> on the top stairs. Yeah, yeah. Like, we can try. I, I could try and slow it down as good as possible, but... How did you get over we've, there? We've been making some really cool things out of monster parts, and I bet that thing has a lot of monster parts. Oh, 100% Just... I want to take down this bullet, but... It should looks we... like a clump of parts. But, we should oh, probably I... do this when we're at maximum capacity. I mean, I'd, at least full health. Yes. Which, you know, if we spend an hour or so, I could get all of us to full health, but... Alright, if I roll a 9 or above on this soothe, that means that I'll be on full health, and it means we should do it right now. <laughs> we see the bullet kind of leap from the dirt oh, and try to <laughs> scramble up the wall a little bit before sliding back down. You're not made for climbing. You're not made for climbing. Just keep it in your pants. It's alright. Oh, yeah, it yeah, has yeah. pants. It's an expression. Sorry. 
All right. It expresses its pants. I can take an hour Express just to pants. kind of get everyone up to up to full health. Patch everyone up. Yeah, right. I still All got right. spell slots. How are you, Ida? You got spell slots? Yeah, I got some spell slots. All right, let's just assume that it takes however long it takes me to get everyone up to full health. All right. Um, well, if that's the case, then. Yeah, I was about to say, do we want to take our 10 minute break now? Perfect. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, we're just going to be back in about 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, just as we have a drink and stretch our legs and all that other fun stuff. We shall see you back very, very soon. Hey everyone, and we're back! Uh, Yay! And Nathada, you get a hero point. Yay! Wait, can I give it to Punchface? No! Oh, <laughs> I want Punchface to actually hit the thing. <laughs> I have one, it's fine. Okay. Because I'm not going to be able to do very much damage on this thing at all, I don't think. Um, oh, am I still stupefied? Uh, if you're taking mm. the hour to be fully healed? No. Yeah, yeah, we're taking the time to be... Woo. As I'm smart as again. chunky as we can. Ah, Lakutos just gave you a hero point, Eider. Yay! Thank you. All oh, right. That's um, hey, Ida. Ida. Yeah. yeah. If we talk strategy, can you hear us from over there? Yeah. Okay. Do you think the bullet can understand us? Hey, bullet! Hey, bullet! Yes. <laughs> Plug your ears considered... for a minute. Is the bullet I... con considered concealed when it's underground? Yes. Haha. Uh -huh. totally. Friends, so I, I have a beacon shot. I can negate the concealed condition if I hit the damn thing. Alright. I can, uh, create an area that slows things down and hurts them while they're in the area so what if we like got it to pop up at one end and then jumped out and it came up to that end and then everyone else jumped in the other end and then it i don't know it had just go underground maybe it's an idea i mean i like it yeah i'm hoping that uh it's got a tiny little brain that i can make hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's my plan it's a very no. large brain, but it doesn't know how to use it effectively. My problem is it is too big for me to wrestle with. Um, yeah. So, oh, well, what if we cast a large on you? What if you were bigger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that. We should do that. Sounds like a plan. You tank the thing. We'll slow it down. Uh, oh, and... This is a good point. Alright, let's fix that. If I, uh... If I wrestle it into submission, do you think it'll be my friend? Maybe. Gompy! Gompy! <laughs> yeah. It is Gompy, worth noting it is. Have that it is meat? It's very hungry. <laughs> just, please just say yes or no, nod <laughs> or shake your head. I don't want. I don't want this. <laughs> Gompy disgorges various meats. Okay. How far down is it from this platform to the ground? About 20 feet. That's not so bad. Right away. About a pit size. Mm. Yep. Yeah, you want yep. some of this meat? I, I, yes, but no. But yes. But no? I mean, the Belcora flesh statue meat, that sound, that seems suitably... Yeah, I'll just take a pound of flesh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A pound of flesh from the Belcora meat statue? I'm just gonna say I have that because I don't want it. I can put it in Davin if you want. I don't want to physically have that in my inventory. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well... The time to yeah, have open, say you have it, I'll delete it when you use it. Done. Yeah, if we take the time to open the gates at the base of these stairs so that we can very easily climb up the stairs if we need to. Mm hmm. Yeah, both sides probably. Yep. 
you can open the gates very easily. They lock from this side. Yeah. Yep. I'm also going to tie a length of rope and send it down here as well, just in case. Yep, good idea. Um, as soon as we do anything to get the thing out of the sand, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself, and I've hunt prayed this thing, and I'm going to try hit it with a beacon shot. I guess so you know where it is, sort of thing. Yep. That way we'll be able to, um, be able to keep track of it, even if it goes in the sand. Do you think I can walk on the sand without disturbing it? Considering how... Uh, and one you're way very, to find out. You're very little, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's pretty sensitive. Hmm. But slower than one would think. Or maybe we were just lucky. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. You did put in a lot of effort to keep it confused. That's true. Well, I'm ready when you guys are. Alright. Um, if we take the time for me to just uh, get it to poke its head out, shoot the arrow, and then what's the plan from there? Uh, Princess is going to jump in. I'm going to make a real big. I just and, then, it down. and then I'm going to try and play some mind games. Lovely. All right, I'm oh going to pick up a... Actually, can someone else do this so I've got enough time to cast a spell myself and shoot an arrow? I'm, I'm going to hold a pebble out just to chuck it somewhere down here. Well, that's what the meat's for. Oh, perfect. Good. Right. <laughs> yep. All right, let's do it. Toss the meat? Yeah. Guidance upon yourself. It does a can perception cast... check. Can you just cast guidance freely? Yeah, it's a thing? cantrip. Just put, put it on everyone. Hmm. Uh, no, because it only lasts for six seconds. Wow. <laughs> and it's also, oh, you're immune to it for an hour. What is that that flags check for, Princess? Throw in the meat. <laughs> you, want, you want to give that another try as it just kind of flops down in front of you? <laughs> this is God. slipperier than I thought it would be. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> kind of sloughs up your hand, yeah. Is it sloth or slough or sloth? Sloth. Slurp. Yeah, I hate, I hate that word. Blorp! Blorp. Sloth. Is well. it a sloth, right? Yeah. Where do you throw it, princess? There? Nice and in. For nothing. Of order, I will be standing wherever I need to be to ensure that I don't have to deal with the volley. With an explosion of, of sand and dirt, it explodes out with the meat in its mouth. Should have tranquil. Oh wait, I need to stay here. All right, I'm gonna immediately shoot the beacon arrow and hope that hits. If that doesn't hit on a twenty-eight, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. You're gonna cry. Yeah. That doesn't hit. We're not going in this pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, first things first. And we'll use that athletics check through your initiative, Princess. So. Alright, third time's the charm. And I check its armor Ooh. class. Gonna have a very high armor class. Did you want to reroll Nathana? Are you kidding me? That's on 11. Um, it's the chunky boy, and you know this is going to be a severe encounter. If that doesn't hit on a 28, then... Um, I mean, I'll, I'll use the point now to... Um, if I have the point. Yes, I do. Why doesn't it let me re-roll? Oh, it's because it's in the past. Alright, I'm going to just do the roll again. Um, manually. Oh, there we Yay. go! That's the last one of the evening, guys. That's it. <laughs> um, no more twenties for anyone. <laughs> worth it. So that's on the beacon shot as well. So now it has it no longer has the concealed condition, and if at any point it's hidden, it can still be observed. All oh, right. It is also immobilized. Oh, good. As per really? the critical specialization for your bow. Nice. 
Uh, Nathana, I phenomenal. do need you to roll initiative, though. Certainly. Hey, guys, I think this will be easy. Wouldn't she just go first slash last? Oh, Which sorry, that wasn't initiative, that was perception. Sorry. That can be your initiative. All I have to do is press a button. The thing lets out a screeching growl as its paw is embedded into the sand. You don't think this is going to hold it for long, though? No. And considering it's up first... Do you want me to roll the athletics check? Yes. I mean, could it possibly fail? Even on a one? Nope. It is successful! But it has to spend the action to do it. Yeah. That's the main point. Now, it has some sort of glitter dust-like effect on it now, doesn't it? Yeah, for one minute, so ten rounds. Alright. It uses its action to sink into the sand. There. It seems to think that it is uh, blissfully hidden from everyone. What a dummy. <laughs> Princess. Yeah. Uh. I will. I will let people know that you can see the glowing outline, but you do not have line of effect to it. Um, just stay within 30 feet of me. You got it, bud. Hello? There's a wall in the way. There is a wall in the way. Powerful leap. Wow. Now, right how are you getting to it? Because like I said, it is sunken into the dirt and the dust. Yeah, I'm just going to jump right there. I can see where it is, so like... Ah. Well, I know what I'll be doing on its next turn. Alright, is that you done, princess? Um, so it... I can't hit it, can I? It is ten feet below the dirt. I'm not hearing a no. <laughs> Do you have a borrow Do... speed? No, but I'm small and fast. I'm basically a rodent. <laughs> yeah, unless you got that borrow speed, I'm gonna say no. Oh, I wish I still had two actions. I could have bashing each other. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I don't know. No. All right. Nothing I can do. Nathano. Uh, here. Oh, like hell it does. <laughs> yeah, there's like railings yeah. and stuff there. Um, I'm going to use my second to... No, my second action to cast Guidance on Punch Face. Yep. Um, wherever that may be. Um, and I'm not going to be able to cut through 10 feet of sand with an arrow, right? No. Um. I don't think you can cut through 10 feet of anything with an arrow. Well, some of sand is a bit loose, you know? It could be loose paper and you wouldn't make it through. Ten, ten, <laughs> ten foot of loose reeds. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Let's test it. <laughs> yeah. The Mythbusters show up out of nowhere. Um. I was basing my knowledge on the Mythbusters. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, there you go then. And just, I guess what I can do with my final action is just a recall knowledge check. Uh, that's probably all I can do. All right, give it a go. Lovely. What check would you like? Nature is probably the best one, unless you have a specific lore or an unspecific lore that would cover a bullet. Pathfinder would cover this. Yeah, I'll go with Pathfinder slightly better. That's a success. Um, does it have any particular weakness to piercing damage? I... Oh, sorry, resistance, I should say. Oh, 
give you this as kind of a gimme. It has no resistances. Lovely. All right. It's a huge sack of hit points with incredible AC. Yep. Sounds good. Okay. All right. That's my turn. All right. All right. Here she comes. Faster than a speeding bullet. It's Princess Punchfay. Me. <laughs> Me. We're dropping, we're dropping in large on her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh god. How long have you been waiting to do this? Like four <laughs> sessions or <laughs> something. <laughs> Do you need me to do it? Yeah, yes. I can't do it. Oh. I'm not allowed. No. <laughs> you know what? You can you can stay there for a second. I cast enlarge on the bullet and it shrinks. <laughs> you know, it would, right? Its size becomes large. You would move to there, princess. Because now you're not occupying part of a square, you're occupying four squares. Cyan. Alright, Harry, I believe that's you done. That's me done. We get to check your inspire courage on. Ita! Uh, well... Princess Punchface raises to ten foot tall, uh, and Ida's <laughs> mouth drops open and sunglasses fall off. <laughs> you weren't even wearing sunglasses. No, exactly Quite right. They manifested upon my face for that comedic moment. <laughs> there is kind of a puff of sand and dust that goes up in a cloud, and when it parts, Princess Huntface is standing there, larger than life. I would look so cool with sunglasses on. <laughs> We should all it's get bad you have no ears. <laughs> yeah, we should all get sunglasses for comedic purposes. <laughs> <laughs> comedic sunglasses. Yeah, I'll get one of those with the with the goggly eyes that like are on springs. <laughs> all right, reflex save for our boy in the sand. Yes, please. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. He's still that's underground. Yeah, fam. But we see yeah. numerous skeletal hands and arms emerge from the dirt and start flailing around for the bullet. Trying to dig their way through to it, but to no avail. Sweet, and I'll, uh... Oh, sorry. No, you're on. Oh. Because you do have a copy. I'll... Yeah. I guess I'll get this compy guy to start moving to here you're colliding with the wall nope you're good yep i've mastered the space bar excellent no walls collide for me what's the space bar do with wav point your movement <laughs> Well, cannot occupy a space with you, princess. Coward. It's not going to bother with a leaping charge, but it, you will hear the trembling of the ground beneath your feet, princess, as the bullet emerges. That compy looks so cute. He's so tiny. To everyone else? <laughs> I can yeah. help too, guys. With these gargantuan people in the pit. He's just like, let me help. Let me help. Yeah, we're not destroying. All right. Jaws first. Ooh. Ow. Doesn't oh have any God. extras on it? Nope. Hey, Matt. Hey, yeah. Oh. Ow. We're all supposed to be having like a nice fun time around here. Hey, I uh, told you this uh, was a severe fight. Yeah. You were warned. And for its second action, it is going to attempt to plort you. 
Yeah, that Meg 5 is really going to matter on a plus. Oh my god. Jeez. I'm also rolling really well. There you are. <laughs> that is it done, however. Princess! Hey guys! <laughs> you're massive! You're raging! Yet yeah. I'm dying! <laughs> I know! <laughs> Can you die? So I'm not even down there yet. I'm gonna just. That would have killed me if that. Oh, be if that would be dead. <laughs> Said I'm gonna hit it. What? So what? Close. Dang it! I think we should leave. <laughs> Maybe we should. <laughs> Wait, a 30. Please. Hit roll an 18 or a higher, they hit it with my axe. I will also mention you don't have it flanked at the moment. It's not flat, flat footed. I'm afraid. <laughs> we did it, you guys. Uh, Princess Punch Faces, even in her large form, just bounce off the height of this thing. Yeah. And in the full I light mean... of the arena, they seem to glisten like steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to cast Soothing Mist on Punch Face. That's all I can really do at range. Um. I don't know. Do I press the healing? Or does Punch Face press the healing button? Um, Ooh, what if you, you both press, press it? At the same time, no. I, you should be fine to press the healing button. I press the... Very crummy <laughs> roll. <laughs> Ignore that second one. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and all I can really do is just take a pot shot at it uh, without Hunter's aim, so this is not going to hit. Don't you already have Hunter's Aim on it? It takes two actions, and it's a two-action spell for the Soothing Mist. Uh. <laughs> Shadow Projectile? Yeah, yeah! It does a will save. C20. Ape shit. Uh. It is flat-footed for the triggering attack, but that won't help. Why is my spell casting so bad? <laughs> Like, at least the good news is that the meat-based characters aren't down here. So if we do go down, it's not going to eat us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, believe it still takes... will take mental damage by the looks of it. Really? Depending on That's... its will save, never mind. Yeah. All right. Oh. Is that you, John Nathana? Yes. All right, Harry. Half, right? Yeah, What's it'll up? take half. It should take basic. half damage. Is a basic save? Well, go for it. Only on a, only on a successes that unaffected. It's flat. No, I don't think it's a basic save. I think uh, it only takes. It takes full damage on a. On a yeah. So it takes double on a critical. That's why it specifies full. I don't think it's basic. But, but then. Why would I don't it that, uh, Because the critical's double. It is. It is confusing. Give yeah, crit second. double it. Like it's it specifies that crit's double because it's not a basic save. Because they change the wording slightly when they bring it into Foundry, and we're going to take the second because this does come up a bit. Um, saving. It's a saving throw. Will saving throw, which doesn't specify anything else, which would mean that it's a basic save. Generally it does say basic, if it is a basic save. Yeah, unfortunately, unless it actually states that it's a basic will save, then I it's... I thought that was... That it, if it does, if there isn't a type stated, that it is a basic no, save. No, I don't think so. You know what? For the sake of kind of dealing with this later, I'm going to say it's a basic will save, so roll your damage. 
and we'll yeah. work it out later. Yeah, it's not like it's gonna be. <laughs> no, I damage. Yes. Takes each shadows. <laughs> It does take some damage from the shadows. Alright, and then I am... So my turn. Yeah, that'll help. Let's go with that. I'm gonna cast... Oh, what's more useful? It potentially less actions, or it being frightened, potentially? Uh, frightened, will, right? frightened will decrease its armor class by one. Yeah, let's go agonizing despair. All right, we'll save his. It's worth save. Oh yeah, it's brain at his bullet, but I hardly know it. But bullet, I hardly damn it. That's all right. Half damage Not a critical and critical success. Run. <laughs> um, oh, I just I, did a I quick giggle, and it does specify basic saves. If it is a basic save, the default is assumed to be not basic. Okay. And I don't understand the description. Like, you'll say saving throw, basic, whatever, if it is a basic throw. If it succeeds, and it's flat-footed on a success... It's flat-footed to the triggering what... attack. So, you cast Shadow Projectile in response to an attack, it's flat-footed mm. to it. So, no, oh, the attack would attack. have been flat-footed. Yeah, right. Wouldn't yeah. have made a difference. It still would have been a critical fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Nine damage! And then, I'm gonna leap into the pit. Hey, it's injured though. That's exciting. It is in fact injured. <laughs> and you can deal me damage if if, if I do badly. <laughs> nah, you're good. So you'll need to leap me into the pit. Wait, as far how is, as the, like, how is Har Harry yeah. injured at this point? Did you heal me? Yeah, I, we healed I, before. We, we, oh, we, we all healed. The, the, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll fix that. Really fix we I'll fix that seven damage. <laughs> We're nice. gonna need every point. And that's me. Oh, actually, I don't have quick jump, so I can't do that. Well, ten feet to the line. edge, five foot for the vault. It's not like you're leaping over the side. Yeah, look, I'll jump over the edge. You'll just but kind of move to the end and then to the front. I'm going to roll. <laughs> You're fine, is my point. But that's you done, Great. Harry? Thank you. Very, very kind. Yeah, that's me done. This is an action oriented system that's all around mobility and getting stuff done. So, just taking an extra five feet of movement to kind of vault over a banister, I'm fine with. I can, uh, it's I'll your turn. sustain rouse skeletons. So yep. if you can make a uh, DC 21 basic reflex save, please. Reflex? Alright, well, you'll take half damage because it's basic, right? Yep. <laughs> As we discussed before. As clawing skeletal hands. There you go. And five's not bad. Every bit counts. Yep. Um. Badly injured. Should I try for rave enfeeblement, giving enfeebled, or should I cast a healing spell? Rave enfeeblement mm -hmm. is an attack spell. That's correct. I think. Princess is gonna get knocked down if we did not heal her. I would, I would deeply appreciate it. Very good spell. I'll do that later. Uh, why doesn't it have the heal button? Oh, because that's the staff that I renamed One Feeling, right? Makes sense. Because <laughs> that's not gonna give you at all. Well, it's so that you can, like, sheathe it and pick it up and stuff. Because you can't do that with a wand, but you have to hold it in a hand. So, yeah. The no. Foundry engine for Pop Fighter 2 is getting there, but they do have their uh, blind spots. Yeah. yeah. Boop. Uh, plus 8 to that. I don't know why it doesn't. Oh, because I keep 
forgetting to press the two action healing thing. So, Princess, you will heal 15 hit points. Oops. <laughs> Please. Dear Lord. Come back. Come back, hit points. I need you. There you go. Nice. So, Ito, that's you completed. I believe Compi gets an independent action. Yeah, Compi will move up to here. Done. All right. It's turn. Now the roused skeletons don't do anything to hinder its movement, do it, do they? Um, no, but they might be scary to it. <laughs> it is frightened. It's more for the case of difficult terrain or not. Oh no, they don't. Yeah, that's right. Because these ones I can move. It's the other ones that. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I forgot. Sorry. In my pre-planning, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll slow it down." Not the case. <laughs> so it's gonna burrow underground. Good call. If anyone has any attacks, on, uh, no, not till next level. Hey. Mm -hmm. Or. Or, <laughs> or ever. Unless you got something to tell me about the hearts that I don't know. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> what was it someone said online? Um, Pathfinder 2, one attack of opportunity per team? Yeah, pretty much. And then... Apparently taking fighter archetype to get attack of opportunity at 6th level was too boring, so... <laughs> <laughs> It is going to do its powerful leap at you, Princess. Oh, Me? <sighs> Rough. You're the heaviest target. Rude. Wow, that, you can't say that, man. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. What the hell? Even in large, I don't think she's the heaviest target. I don't know, ceramic's pretty heavy. It has to do an FLX check as a part of this, but... It it's gonna be fine. The hell did it move? <laughs> what if it rolls a one? It needs to move as part of its leapy it, thing. It does. it does. Jesus. And a part of its leaping charge, it, as long as it moves at least 20 feet horizontally. And it emerges from the ground, just kind of poking its head out, sights you, and like a reverse fox leaps. Reverse fox. Yeah, you know how foxes, when they're trying to hunt things in the snow, they kind of leap off, uh, if you will. I, I envisioned a fox jumping backwards, but yeah, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just looking at its claw attack and being like, this is going to hurt. Great. Did we Not know? as much as I thought. <laughs> In your it's base. a 1d20? That's... That's what it uses to hit. Yeah. Oh god, almost max damage. Oh, oh it's a 1d20 and... damage. Please don't hit me again. It's okay, that was just the attack roll. <laughs> no need to panic just yet. <laughs> well... Deals 3d20 plus 20. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and then it you with its jaws. More reasonable damage. And the best you got. Oh my god, you're still up. <laughs> oh my god. Single wow. digits. Princess. You think you can stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Also, was it? Oh wow. dear! Oh dear! <laughs> I've got too much blood in my eyes. <laughs> oh, there Yay! you go! Fuck on this! <laughs> nice, nice. Hell yeah! Slowed, eh? Take your fortitude save. 
It's yeah, okay. <laughs> it's bonus to fortitude. It's probably plus twenty one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never, never <laughs> mind. At least I used the right. twenty on this. Uh. But yes, it, it's not slowed one. What's your princess? Yeah, you are. Can you grapple you the could, thing? You could run away. <laughs> <laughs> Running away doesn't have the concentration trait. Oh Alright. Stefano. Yeah. It's I hurting. Great, I do that yeah. great anime thing of just like doing a big thumbs up to the people behind me. <laughs> um, I want to rappel down the rope that I chucked over the side here. Yep, go on action. Oh, what? <laughs> um, and I'm also going to do an acrobatics flip because I do backflips now, apparently. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's happening now! Let's get some of that hotness. That'll, That'll be successful as you right, do so a flip. Whichever square you want to plot me in, that's fine. Do one of those cool sideways flips like Phoenix Chan. Right. Yeah. So I'm happy for that to be an action, two actions, whatever you want. Um... Just an action. You you prepped for mm -hmm. it. You put a rope down. I'm not going to punch you for it. All right, I'm going to head on over to here. Oh, Get a head over here and battle medicine. Um, punch face, how many hit points do you have exactly? Um, so that's you know how I did that thumbs up? That's yep. about it. Alright, I'm gonna do assurance then. I'm not gonna <laughs> risk you through this. <laughs> you were so excited, weren't you, Matt? You were like, oh, it's gonna be someone else that does it. <laughs> Alright, take 19 points of healing. And that's my turn. Back in action. All right. Let's try and slow it down a bit. Mind games. Mind games? Mind bullets. Has it got to roll around like that? <laughs> Give me all <laughs> Okay. Well, it's 25, right. that is successful. We will keep trying. It needs a, it's a DC 7. Because it finished its turn on Friday one. Yeah, it would have. And I'll move. That's my turn. All right. I turn. Uh, I'll sustain the thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's 21 something something. I'll just Can Three I send points? it to the chat without casting it? Yeah, there you go. Just a success. Mm hmm. Cool. Take half of five. <laughs> no, wait. That's... There we go. Wait. Um, I'll save that third level just in case. Yeah. I guess I'll cast in a radiance turret. Two actions? You can make. Yeah. Two rounds? Mm, no, I don't think it will stay still long enough to do that. Well, it's got multiple targets in. Yeah, but it likes to, like, move and then jump, move, and attack and stuff, so... Yes. No, it absolutely yeah. does. So, reflex save? Uh, yes, please. Ooh! Damn. <laughs> It'll take half damage. Cool. I hadn't have said anything about the frightened. Ugh. Ugh. It I mean, no, no, it's not that bad. It is near death, yes. High AC, low pit point pool. Fish. Yeah. Um, and Compy for an independent action gonna try and get right down here all right all right now we have multiple targets excellent i made a meat <laughs> <laughs> that was the mind game that i sent him <laughs> all right that's you done though either 
Yeah. All right, Abelet friend. Well, they're not having a good time, but they are exceptionally hungry. So, maybe that's a compies made of meat. <laughs> maybe a salad. <laughs> <laughs> it has a borrow speed, though. Yes. Yeah, except it can't fit anywhere there. No, it can't. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, go eat Nathana. She'll love that. <laughs> she can just backflip out of the way. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's, it's not possible to be consumed if you can black backflip. Yeah. I'm also very spiny. Like, I wouldn't mm, be very, true. Yeah. very nice to chew on. I reckon Hedgehog would be like chicken. Do you reckon? What a strange thing for a vegan to say. Yeah, I'm also a cook. <laughs> you gotta think about these things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Although I love saying stuff like that as a vegan because nothing weirds people out more. They're like, "What do you mean?" Talking like something talking... about enjoying eating animals as a vegan. Yeah, or like uh, people get really weirded out by the fact that guinea pigs are a farm animal. Like people, yeah. Grow yeah. On farm them, and I'm like, yeah, it's like the perfect. Like they're super docile. There's heaps of meat on them. And they're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they breed it's and grow really quick. It's you. great. They breed and grow super quick. Princess. Like, huh? What? <laughs> Sorry, we were talking about eating guinea pigs. Yeah, yep, now you're the guinea you. pig. <laughs> Dead. Yep. Yikes! Dead. That's yeah. zero. I will cast Ida's intervention. How many more? Three. I will take three. I will take four damage. <laughs> nice. You're reduced to Ow. one hit point instead. Thank but you, you are Ida. now both wounded. Yeah. Oh no, I'm targeting myself. This was a, this was a mistake. You can do that in your own time, Bill. Come on. Thank <laughs> <laughs> It sinks below the surface of the ground. Uh, I assume this thing has reach, right? Uh, surprisingly, no. Hey. Well, it if, it went one one to, if it went one more to the south, it could hit three people to say. Yeah, but Compi's not really delicious. Oh, fuck you. You, <laughs> you have reach, though, Princess. I do? Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, you know, written it from there. Nathana! <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Oh, truly? Oh my yeah. god! It missed! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not Back enlarged, I'm not raging. <laughs> you've I'd got like a, to thank Chad for the villain point. point. Yeah, please do. <laughs> you know what? I have some regrets. <laughs> There's the hit! Alright. It's okay, that's okay. That's not too bad? Not too bad. No. Princess, you are still standing thanks to Aya. Yeah, I like and I not get wounded. up from being on one knee and then I see it attack Nathana and I just go into more of a rage. Yeah, get rid of that wounded too. We don't we don't want that shit. Uh, uh the wound the wounded's from the spell. Oh, of course, sorry. That was that you don't drop. Oh no. Just glancing off its hide. You know what? Maybe being big isn't all it's cracked up. <laughs> yeah, right. right. But it is thematically fun. It, it is, is thematically fun, and it gives you the damage bonus. Um. Dear Lord. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna drop my sword. Um, uh, drop my bow. Drop my sword. Yep. Drop your sword. 
Drop my um, shorts. You know so you can hold can... a bow in one hand, right? Can I? Yeah. Yeah. You just can't is, shoot is, is the it bow an action to change my hand, though? Because I'm. Oh, I'm, I guess I'm holding it with my left hand. I mean, arguably, but you could it, still just. So the rule specifically this. for bow is that it requires one plus hands. You only need the two uh, hands in to order draw to the fire. fire. Perfect. Yep. Oh, in that case, okay, just single action to. Um, you see Nathan drop the phone. He's like, wait, I don't need to do that. Get up again. Um, draws the <laughs> short <laughs> sword. The juggle. I mentioned um, it gonna... because I've been working on some bow type stuff recently, and uh, yeah. that little thing kind of came up. And I was like, wait, why are you dropping your bow? Dear Lord. Okay. Um, and then my second strike with flurry though, and it's an agility weapon. So I'm gonna put. Yay! There we go. Yeah. They're all like Red us, but that's okay. To hit the half button then. Do I get the critical specialization for that? Yeah. Wow, it's flat footed, folks. Nice. Minus two towards armor class. Yeah, that's my turn. Harry, as a. Let's get that bread! <laughs> I've got to sustain mind games. Um, at the start. We'll save. Uh, yeah. I will say again, Will is its worst save. I figured. That's why I was excited for this fight. Go, get, go to hell. Go <laughs> to hell. <laughs> Hasn't damaged me. Rid of it. Chat says I have a hero point, so I'm using it. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a, for a 19 or 20 here. No! <laughs> We just crit fishing at this point? Well, no, like literally I cannot hit it except on the 19 or 20. Oh no, it's flat footed, so. Uh, no, it's still. 17 or an 18. It 17. takes a lot. Right. This thing is brutally bruised, battered, wounded, but its hide is staying true. Are you done, Harry? That's me. Hi, sir. Alright, that's me. Get you? Um, how far can I move that thing? 20 feet. 20 feet. Do, 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 do. I can't move it far enough to get it. So I'm just gonna not sustain it. I'm gonna drop that skeleton spell. Um, I'll deal with that for you. Thank you. Copy will move up and attempt to attack it. Go net 20. Uh, and I will cast in a radiance torrent again. Sorcerers, jeez. Reflex? Yes, please. Not a reflex saving throw. So He's I'm good. Good success. All right, that'll do nothing. All right, and that's you done. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Well, he shuffles back. And then he pops his <laughs> leaping charge. <laughs> yep. Yeah! Free athletics. Oh! Oh, I don't think it's got it, does it? He's not going to get the full way. Attempts a high jump, DC 30, or a long jump, DC Oh 20. no, he will make it, because... He'll move 25 feet with a DC 20, with a roll of 25. Ah! Nice. Oh, that's for high jumps only, it's that's not for high horizontal. Jump. Yeah, no, he's yep. going to come up short. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> You can take compy. <laughs> well, yeah, does he no. have to? Does he have to stipulate the target of the leaping charge before he makes the leaping charge, or can he just jump and then hit? If it's adjacent to an enemy at the end of its long jump. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm sorry, compy. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two claw strikes. That'll be crits. Oh, there's the crit. Mercy me, wow. 
So, 16 from the normal. Yep. <sighs> Fantastic. He's still standing? Oh, wow. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think he was hey. going to make it through that. Princess, neither did I, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... You see it kind of leap through the air, but one of the wounds it sustained kind of causes it to twist at the last moment, causing it to fall a little bit short. But, you know, in its rage, it claws Whoops. out at combi. I move up I'll share the square with it. I'm trying to find a place where I can stand. There you go. Now. Okay. 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 First try. That 20. Full hit. Full power. It's dead. Give it the beans. 100 effort. Aww. I meant now. I hate this stupid game. That would have been <laughs> hit. <too. laughs> yeah, it would have. Dear Lord. Um, I'm just going to have to... Wait, how far can I get around it? If I stand here, it's going to be flat-footed, right? Pickers, punch face. You're being flat-footed, yes. Because punch face has reach. Okay, so I'll do that. And then... Flurry, two strikes, and I stop short sword. Nope. Nope. Alright, Clang. Clang, clang. God, this thing would be so good to watch in a gladiator fight. Yeah. Right. Although I think it would, in reality, just shred things to bits. Wow. Uh, give, me that, give me that will save. That will save? We're going for one hit here. Oh, actually. It's for DC. DC's like 20, isn't it? It's 21, I believe. It's 20! Boo. Boo this Boo. man. Boo as hell. <laughs> it's... It's the bullet man. looks sad. Um, uh, and rather than squeezing at it, it... We can emotionally that's damage it. That's not doing nothing. Phantom Pain? Yeah, I'm gonna say oh, yeah. persistent. Yeah, your hide's not even that tough. <laughs> okay, it just looks good in this lighting. Jeez, that is a success. Yep. success. So the full Thanks. initial damage is eleven. No persistent. No persistent. Yay! It is swaying on its feet. It is not long for this world. And uh, that's me. <laughs> I know. All Do right. You want to swing Go compete first. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Just cannot gain purges on its enormous bulk. Uh, I'm gonna continue <laughs> like a freaking warlock about enormous and bulk. cast yet another in a red star. Reflex safe, please. Sorcerers for you. Success. Yay. Take half damage. Yeah. Gets one last turn by the looks of it. I mean, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to spend an action to move to attack you, Harry, and I'm not risking another FA left legs check. Hey, Princess. Hey. Let's see if we can get you the wounded three, yeah? Oh, I'll help yeah. you this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got, I've got, uh, healing. Oh, wow! Suck <laughs> it! What? 
Holy I'm shit. wise to you now. I love how it says miss by plus one. That's incredible. Yep. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. Okay. I see. This is why we love the Pathfinder crit system. <laughs> Saved by a natural one, my god. Alright. Nathana. Yes. Because you have been slashing at it as well. Yep. Ineffectually, but yes. I mean, that... <laughs> That crit did damage to it. And for its last one... Hello, compi. Yeah. Damn. And he crushes compi under claw. Yep. Flat. Compi, no! Princess, you just saw our beloved compost heap get crushed to a singular flat pile. Please, rage gods. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Finally! I'll take it, rage gods. Yay! I'll be angry every day. <laughs> now, do you think it's enough? No. One off. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I do. Talking all better. Fucking well better? Yeah! yeah. It literally had one hit point left. <laughs> Me too! And look oh, at the time, okay. folks. That is incredible. That is a good finish. Ah, uh, terrific. But, congratulations. You defeated the bullet. I'm gonna immediately run over to Compi and get <laughs> wounds, because I can do that with Compi, apparently. Yes! He's dead. He's dead. No, he's, he's zero. I believe. <laughs> Also, yeah, stabilize. Oh, the monster bits are gonna be so nice. <laughs> well, the bullet was a level eight creature. Woo! Wow. So, you know what time it is, Anna? It's time for the monster parts dance. Do do do. do. <laughs> How are you doing? Do do do. do. <laughs> I would you assume. still control over my character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll fix that. We're we're just gonna quickly fix that. <laughs> and I've been saving it for this exact moment. Classic. All right. Well, a couple of other things. You will be getting a fair bit of monster parts from it. Hell yeah. Nice. I bet it could make some nice. Also, you have cleared out this floor of the Abomination Vaults. Yay! Ooh. Does that mean what I think it means? Yeah, no, it does. Congratulations. What it means? You get to level to level six. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad I'm alive now. And guess what? My spell casting doesn't get better at level seven. <laughs> get down the spell, right? Oh, uh, no, I mean, my... I think it's another spell. Well, don't go to Expert till level 7. Oh, so right. my, yep. my DCs don't improve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, um, with the gradual ability boost, level 6 is when we don't get the boost, right? It's... Yeah. Yeah. Except by the one. Yeah, so from level 7, Six. I guess this one. Oh. Boundary oh, should so calculate yeah, yeah. it. Or at least should have the allowances there for it. But no, congratulations, yeah. you defeated the bullet. Yeah, Yay. that was uh, that was a tough fight. Does that mean we're over halfway through the abomination vaults? You I will have so. crossed the threshold of the halfway point. There is only ten levels to the dungeon. <laughs> excited? Oh my god, I'm, I'm like... sad. Sad. So excited. <laughs> well, very exciting. With our heroes leveling up to level six, having cleared out the arena level of the Abomination Vaults. All that is left for them to do is take on the second half. And probably yeah. the more active levels of the Abomination Vaults as you get closer and closer to Belcora herself. You've heard rumors of an alchemist that lives in the next level below. And presumably... <laughs> The flesh warping that has been occurring, or that you have seen so far, is their work. So, with 
the flesh warping and other abominations roll credits that you will probably be encountering. Let's hope our heroes can actually survive it. But if you yeah. want to find out what happens, you'll have to tune in next week at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. We will be continuing with the Abomination Vaults for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, powered by Foundry BTD, presented by myself, Tabletop Obscura, with music by Michael Gelfi and Sirenscape. Be sure to check out Hijinx over on the YouTube channel. Woo woo! I know I kind of shill for them every week, but I'm going to continue to shill for them. And they recently did a really great one shot for a company that I really, really love. And you should also check that out because it was it's it's really fun to watch. But if you want to check out my VODs for any of this, they are up on the YouTube. They should be this one should be up within 24 hours, probably by tomorrow morning at some point. But otherwise, I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. We're going to find someone to raid, because apparently there might be a couple of people doing Pathfinder around the world. Oh, otherwise, no. mm -hmm. remember, we are the storytellers. Good night, everyone. Hey. Bye. Bye.